Hi guys, I'm Alex from Shanghai Customs. And I'm Vanessa. And today we're going to take you through a full eCub installation. Here we have some old Japanese C70 forks and a battered old C90 frame that we found rusting in a Jerjiang scrap heap. And we're going to show you guys that even with the most unloved of cub parts, you can put together a really beautiful bike using our eCub kit. First, we're going to run you through all the nuts and bolts that come as part of your kit, and then we're going to do an installation from start to finish, and Vanessa's going to help me with that. Hey guys, so now I'm going to run you quickly through all the nuts and bolts that come as part of your eCub kit. Here is our front axle that we'll supply to you. It comes with a 24mm spacer here and a washer and nut to secure it. Then as we move up the front forks, here we have a Phillips head M8 screw, which uh, comes with a, uh, a spacer and a washer. This is where your headlight mount will fit. And if you have uh, got a fender as well, this is where the fender will mount um, to keep it just above the wheel right here. As we move higher up, here are two more M8 screws, um, which will secure the side of this uh, top yoke, and it'll also be where you put your um, indicator mounts. Uh, we've supplied two, um, two washers with this as well for the, um, for the indicator mounts. Up top, we have two hex screws, um, which, will, uh, which come with two washers, and these will secure the whole top yoke onto the, the front forks. And as we move now onto the, uh, the body of the, of the frame, we have two uh, hex bolts here, which um, two M8, M6 hex bolts, which will secure the, your seat and also the front of the top unit down onto the frame. And we've put two very wide washers as well to make sure that your, your seat is, is very secure and, um, and the weight is evenly distributed. Here we have two more M6 um, socket screws. These will, will lock down the, the rear of your top unit onto the frame of the, of the cub. And now we get here to the suspension uh, mounts. We've, due to the way that the, that the suspension is designed and the way that it interacts with our swing arm, we've provided some extender nuts here which will help secure the, the suspension in the right position. And to make sure that it's all nice and tight, we've got three five mil spaces on each side. And then down here, this is where the back of your um, rear cradle will be secured. And so we've got an M6 uh, socket screw here. And actually on the back, we provide a nut and a washer to make sure it's extra secure like this. So you'll have a packer um, to keep it all, to keep the rear cradle very tight to the frame, um, and you'll have to put uh, a nut and a washer on the back here. For our swing arm, we have a an M10 swing arm axle, um, which comes with washers and also in here some custom made um, swing arm uh, packers, which will keep this axle really nice and tight. And we've also provided twin uh, nuts for the end for extra security. And then finally, for securing your disc brake onto your hub, we have six um, M5 nuts here, uh, M5 bolts here, which will secure it really nice and tightly onto here via this packer, which will keep the distance away from the hub um, so it pinches perfectly with our, with our disc brake caliper. So that is a, a run through of all of the nuts and bolts that come as part of your kit. There are a few other um, bits and pieces which we haven't covered, but we will cover them as we go through the build.